The Environmental Protection Agency says a 3 8 inch diameter tube is to blame for more than 30,000 gallons of gasoline spilling into waters near homes. But there are mixed opinions on how the response has been so far. December 11th, 2023, approximately 24 hours after the Olympic pipeline oil spill here into Bolson Creek. Fumes no longer linger and Sheen has washed away. But according to Rebecca Scales and her husband who shot this video, their concerns are sticking around. It's the residue off of the fuel that's getting caught up in the grasses and so forth. And it is still there. And no one is talking about this at all about when they're going to clean that up. Scales says her five acre property runs along Hilditch, which had gasoline leaking from the Olympic pipeline throughout Sunday morning. And when you see that down there, you're just like, whoa, and then the stench. She says she is frustrated at how no government agency notified her of the danger unfolding in her backyard. I was at the store and my neighbor called and said, hey, don't have any matches outside because we've got fuel, some kind of fuel in the ditch. The Department of Ecology told Fox 13 an alarm went off around four Sunday morning, alerting crews of a fuel leak at a vault connected to the Olympic pipeline. When the company became aware of the leak, they started a process that, that shuts down the, the pipeline. Environmental Protection Agency spokesperson Bill Dunbar says more than 30,000 gallons leaked out in total. So do you know roughly when it officially stopped leaking into the environment? It took several hours. As of Monday, the Environmental Protection Agency says 1,600 feet of containment boom has been placed along Hilditch and Bolson Creek. And so far, none of the gasoline has leaked into the Skagit River. Right now, we're really concentrating on, on keeping the, the product where it is and uh, slowly cleaning it up. Dunbar says he couldn't comment on why neighbors were not notified of the spill Sunday morning, only on the response among multiple agencies. This is one of those responses that has gone very, very well. Scales describes it another way. Terrible emergency response. While the EPA says air monitoring systems show no levels to be dangerous to the public, Scales is still worried about the long-term impacts on the water and on the land. My concern now is the contamination of my soil and whether we're even going to be able to use it or not. Dunbar says personnel crew will be doing surveillance in Hilditch tomorrow morning. We'll have to take it again on a case-by-case -case basis, take a look at, at how much is, has accumulated in any given spot and determine what the best uh, next step is. There's still no estimate on how long crews will be cleaning. For now, Dunbar advises people to steer clear of the area and to stay out of the affected water. He also says one lane of Stout State Route 534 should reopen tomorrow at 6 a.m., just in time for families with students at Conway Elementary School. The Conway School District Superintendent tells us students will be able to return to class tomorrow morning. In the newsroom, Nia Wong, Fox 13 News.